mistake here. And, um, but you know what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that stand and make the dock look broken. I'm gonna let that just go. Right here, the dock looks broken. I know y'all can't zoom in on that or anything, but um, I don't mind. Let me do that real quick. So that's kind of an error. If you can see where the dock is broken there, like it's perfectly straight, and then right as soon as it reaches the greenery, it looks like it drops down. Well, that's where I haven't corrected it yet, but you know what? I think I'm gonna leave that like that because I can see green through there, and I can put a little bit more brown right here. Some brown and some... Why, I thought that was brown. It's supposed to be brown. And put some brown right there. See, and then that green right there is like, oh, and look at this dark stripe right there. See, I'll take that dark stripe and let's make that a little more broken. We'll take a little bit, bit, little bit of black and let's put that right in there so that that looks really broken. Yeah, like that. I could even make that a little wider. My, my eye says I could make that a little wider where the dock has broken. Okay, and we're just gonna splinter that off a little bit. I saw a splinter. Okay, and right there. Ah, good. Now that dock looks broken. Now I'm gonna take, looks like I took a little bit too much, so I'm just gonna yeah, you could just stay here, Rhonda. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, boy, that looks good. That looks really good. I wonder, I wonder what I'm missing. So right here, now I don't have to do this part too much because I'm gonna build a, these are some uh, branches to a bush I'm going to cover and bring right into here. Um, but I need some earth. I needed some earth down in here. Some dirt. So we're putting some dirt down in here. Like that. And I think I'll even put some black in with that. Let's really darken that up so that when we bring in our branches It'll be even cooler. Some black and some green. Okay, because that's gonna... Oh, we gotta finish off our... This is like a... One of those beach kind of trees that you see that are um, you know all dead and scraggly and gray and uh, okay now choosing the brush hmm. we're going to renew some more green and we're going to use a, a brighter green as well. But we're going to add white to it. So that it uh, blends. Okay. I don't know, that might be too big. So... No, nope, no, nope, that's what I want. I want, I want mostly, I want mostly green, a little black, and then here we go. We're just gonna build, build a little shrub line here that's on Hi. this side. There we go. Hi, Teresa. We're gonna go back and get some more green. 
and black. And I really like this down here. I think that looks good. This is colors. So then we need a little bit more, a little bit more right here, right there. Good. And we'll just go ahead and dab some of that off. And uh, now we're going to hit the lighter green and the darker green, both at the same time. Light and dark green. And we're going to basically do that here at the top of our shrub and bring it down. Whew. Boy, I did not quite go. I know I need some more. I don't see it. I don't see it. There it is. There we go. All right. Now that that gives this bush a little bit different of a flavor and a look. Now it's dark underneath, and then what we'll do there is we're going to go ahead and get something I'm going to use here in a minute. We're going to we're going to thump the gold. Have a good rest, Jimmy. Thank you for joining. Well, thank us. you, Jimmy. He's our highwayman. Rhonda said sometime I should try watching you on my ThinkPad and text you on my phone. We'd love to hear you. Love to hear ya. Okay, so... Oh, dang. I didn't see that there. I'm sorry, it was black stick. I didn't notice it. All right, and then we're going to put, like, some moss and some grass growing right there. There you go. All right, put a little of that right there, and then bring that up there like that. Okay, I think we've got that settled. Maybe we could put a little bit right there. Nope, I like it. Leave it alone. Hi, Russo. Very good, very good. Very good, very good. And we're putting a few dark pieces over there so we can... Jimmy has to start work at 4.30, or, or maybe he has to get up at 4.30. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Because he's on road construction. That's what his job is. And uh, they have different hours that they they start. Sometimes they work overnight. Yeah, they have day crews and night crews. Definitely. All right. Rhonda said she's got to test out her um, ThinkPad sometime. A ThinkPad? I have not heard of a ThinkPad. Now, this kind of bush right here is a little lost in the back bush area there. So I'm thinking I need to add something to kind of bring this bush up a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what to do. So we're just gonna try a few things to see if that will so we're going to touch some some black and some yellow together and we're going to put a few more flowers on this bush to see if oh look at that i think that did just what we needed 
See, and then if I touch just the edge of my brush to the colors, and then I go right at the rim, right at the top of the bush, right where that bush stops. Then you see by doing that, that makes the bush really stand out as far as where its dimensions are. And um, I think, ooh, I just almost went for a roll. We're gonna, we're gonna hit that one more time. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. And I'm not gonna use a fresh brush, I'm gonna use a older brush. It's got a bunch of stuff on it, and then we're just gonna just touch that same that same little spot there, right there, just like that. Then this defines our shrub. There we go. And how about if we put a little bit down here so that you know where the bottom of it is? All right. Now let's go ahead and give that a little wipe. Let's run that one right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that depth now. That looks very good. Oh, we could even take this a little bit and just tap that a little bit. Yep. Let a little bit of a little bit of a branch. Wow. Rhonda said that. her um, ThinkPad is kind of like a laptop. Yes. It's interesting. I haven't heard of a ThinkPad before. Hmm. Okay. Now what? Well, I could almost stop right there. Honestly, I really could. I really enjoy this. But we need to do... Um, we need to do our long branches and we need to do our skinny branches and I am looking for my long skinny branch brush, which of course, you know, now that I want it, it's, it's not, able to, I haven't used it in a while. So sometimes it gets down in the pile of brushes. That'll be my next thing is organizing my brushes now that I've got my paint more organized. And uh, as long as Joy doesn't turn the camera, she'll, you can all believe me when I say I've got my paint organized. Just believe me. You're about to knock that big brush off. A couple of brushes there. Thank you. All right. Well. There is, it is not here. As often as I want it, and as often as it shows me itself and says, here I am. This time I want it, and it is not right here. I never use it, so it should be right here. Hmm. We will have to make do, or I don't see my brand new pack of brushes I bought. I did buy a brand new pack of brushes. We don't need no new pack of brushes. We're all right. Okay, so we have done, worried about that long enough. So now we are headed for our grays and whites. And Cat says hello. Hi, Cher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're going to put one brush right through the weeds here, like that. And we're going to run one up this way. And that 
tree's got plenty of moss on it, so we're going to let that moss stay right there, and we're just going to trail off another, another branch. Mm -hmm. Hi, uh, let's see, Gavin and Viana. And we're just bringing down a little bit of depth on this tree. We'll put a little bit of color under the branches a little bit. And put that right there. That's pretty good. Scotty wanted to know how many paintings you do a week. One. Do Sometimes one a week. he'll do more than one, but he does one. Especially if I get inspired. Uh, he does a, a live stream painting every Tuesday. And then sometimes he'll do an extra one. Like we did one for St. Patrick's Day. And we did and 12 we for did Christmas. And we did... And he did 12 paintings for Christmas that we we gave away. We called it the 12 days of Christmas, and we, and we gave them away. But those all had pretty much a Christmas motif, uh, genre to the paintings. They were winter paintings. They were like snow, snowmen. Uh, snow and snowman and things like that. I, most of them were like that. Yep. Yep. Well, I really enjoyed that too. That was very much fun. As long as it's fun, I'll do it. If it gets to be work, then I'm not so much into it. <laughs> That's just... I'm a sanguine. I'm an otter. I'll do anything if it's fun, even if it's a lot of Hi, work. Hi, spaceman. There we go. Mm -hmm. My cat is crying. Did you put tape on her this morning? I did. <laughs> I was thinking after she jumped over the gate, I thought, oh, I wonder if she's going to go in there and mess with it and, and wake her up. But she still had it on her, and I had pulled it off. A little piece of... Uh, little piece of a painter's tape that's on her. <laughs> yeah, she was getting in my way while I was taping up a package. <laughs> it 
It didn't seem like it was bothering her at all. And it wasn't really that sticky. She just didn't mess with it. Okay. Now, a lot of people use a straight edge and straight lines and things like that to get the job done when they're painting. And I have not been known to do that. A couple of times I have. And uh, so the um, I'm just kind of looking at my at the idea of this boat getting this boat right in here and um, you know putting it you know is have a little gunnel and it has this and it has that and uh, we'll be looking down into it the painting I'm looking straight at the boat but uh, in this painting, we'll be kind of looking down at the boat. And um, I actually like this painting so much, I hate to mess, <laughs> I hate to mess with it and uh, have something go wrong. Um, Rhonda said she'll have to practice on her think pad. So... And we're going to come up with some boat colors here, which of course will be white. And let's see, then we've got some brown. This is uh, raw umber. Some white. I think I have raw umber already open. Uh, yes, I do. I have raw umber already open. Oh, that was too much. Maroon brown. That's got a little red in it, obviously. We'll see if that's useful. Oh, what Rhonda else? Said when she finishes putting up her Easter decorations, she'll send me a picture of some of her Easter decorations. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rhonda. And don't forget, anybody that's received a painting, we would love to see a picture of it. You don't even have to you know put a frame on it or anything just enjoy it and like where like if you have it hanging on your and wall especially or, if it's just seasonal or setting somewhere on a table or something mm -hmm. we love that jimmy sent us one that was very very kind of him he really put a lot of work into his i was amazed he really did Now, Jimmy is an artist with crafting, building things out of wood. And he made his own frame for the painting that Donnie gave him. Yeah. And in this painting that I've been staring at, the, um, the horizon line is very, very minimal, like it's foggy. So that's why you don't see anything there. <sighs> very interesting. All right. Um, I'm going to dip my brush in half brown, half white. And I'm going to start, I, I was thinking about going over the dock, part of the dock, but maybe, maybe right there. And then we'll pull that brown out like that. Okay. I'm going to bring the I 
I'm just saying she's watching the Cubs game on TV as a practice game. Okay, so we're going to put in a little bit stronger of a gunnel here, and again, and again, Look right there. All right. I don't think I can use this brush again, really. Yeah, that's it for that brush. So let me get my favorite brush out. Because we've got to put a... We've got to put a gunnel on the other side. Where the sun is shining. Where the... The lights are. So let's get that going. Over here. That's one thing nice about the sky being dry now. I can always, I can, I can use my hand to rest against the sky. And of course, these boats always have a, um, like a little stick at the front, like that. Let's see, I may need my, where did it go? I lost it. Well, here's a substitute. Spaceman said he's just home from getting their sink and um, uh, faucet, and he's going to get the countertop soon. Hi, Jam. Another Jim? Jam. Jam. Jim. Donnie's hard of hearing. He actually is diagnosed hard of hearing. <laughs> yeah. I get to... I get a little recompense for it. Not that I need it, but just appreciate it. This is, sometimes I have to talk really loud in order to get him to hear me. Yep. And because we're using acrylic, we can't just wipe things on and hope for the best. You've got to kind of, you kind of have to dab acrylics on. Jam they, said it's going to look gorgeous when it's done. Mm-hmm. And of course, I have never done this before. But I'm enjoying it as I go. And we're gonna put a dark to dark right there. Right there. Okay. I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens next, actually. <laughs> so we're going to finish our white right there. And we're going to finish the little bow piece right here. Your head's too. in the way of this other camera. Don't lean that far. <laughs> okay, sorry. I was leaning too much. 
All right, so this is telling me I need to make this a little wider. Your head, your head. This one? Yes. Literally, the woman wants me to try to paint left-handed <laughs> to make her no, camera don't happy. Rain. Don't rain so much. And it's like here. <sighs> now, another thing I'm working on, too, is, is this. You have to have a water line. And you have to have a water line color. And I am looking at... Um, Something kind of brownish red, something a little dingy, but yet maybe it used to be red. It used to be red. Rhonda said but she's left handed. I think I want that to be a little bit more red. Okay. All right, now, after you do that, you kind of, you get your water out And you kind of get it wet and you wash it out a little. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to... I had a paper towel. Do you see it on the floor? No, but I'll get you one. I need one. Quick as possible without disturbing your cords. Thank you. Just one little one's all I need. Oh, you know what I see? I see. I didn't see that before. So, we're going to need, oops, too much. I just saw the reflection of the boat in the water. Just saw it. And um, I wasn't thinking about that until I just saw it. So what we've got to do here is we've got to do this. Okay, because that is the reflection of the boat in the water. And I think we can, you can even fade that together too with a little bit of a paper towel. Right. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And, ooh, look at this. Now, this already did this by itself. I did not try to do that, but I can see right here. We need to extend this little piece right here. That See how this shadow extending underneath here is, is talking the... Reflection of the boat and the red. Rhonda wanted to know if you can paint a picture of Elvis Presley, John Wayne, or anyone else. He's never tried people, except for the gnomes. <laughs> yeah, but I don't mean, I only talk like them. Um, I don't paint them. I talk <laughs> like them. Um, that's right, Mr. Pilgrim. We'll be glad to talk like them, but we aren't going to... And we'll walk like them, but we're not going to look like them. Oh, 
I? Like, like, like. Like, like, like. Did I throw that that far away? Hmm. And Donnie's never had any paint lesson, lessons. Right. And, you, and, you, and I suppose if I bought a book on portraits, I could do something like that. You know, but it's like anything else. I don't, I don't ever think I can do it. And then when I try, whew, I did it. You know, my wife got me in the habit of trying stuff I can't do. So now it doesn't bother me when I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I go, I can't do this. But, you know, that never stopped me so far. <laughs> Thank goodness for her. I just right. kept telling you, you can do it. You, you can, can do you it. You can do Bob Ross. You can do it. Lad. You could do it. All right. And then you see how this is really dark, so that means I've got to make this shadow here a little darker. And I think that i don't know how how would that look in the reflection it would be this this way right would it be like that that piece right there has to be there so that piece is there that i know Okay, I think I got it. We'll just see if that piece is right there and that piece is going to be shooting off like that. So then that would be like that, right? No. Okay, so that would be there. Then that means that is like that. Okay. Did I do it? Yeah, I think I did it. All right, let's dab that a little. See what happens. Okay. That kind of gives us a, all right. So far, so good. Now, if I need, I need to recreate my gray. Thanks, Rhonda. She said she sent out the live stream to someone she knows well. Yeah, Rhonda's been promoting us. Appreciate Her it, Rhonda. And, and, and Huggy and a couple other people have been so sweet. So sweet. Cher has shared shared us out a lot too. Mm -hmm. That's why she got that name. That's how she got that name, I'll bet. Because she's a sharer. Okay, where's the gray? You had the gray. You had a couple types of gray. Permanent black. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, that's a dark blue gray. I think that went, no, that was over there. Well, that's all right. Blue gray, white. And now we're recreating some of the watercolor so that we can, uh, we need to push up into the, um, 
She also sent it to her brother, Ron. Thank you, Rhonda. Bo, 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 bo. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank, thank you, Rhonda. a pebble, but I took it for granite. Yeah, that's the one. So now, see, we've got to kind of, we've got to bring in our water now to our shadow. Bring in a little bit of the shadow of the boat. And then, I can tell that's not working. That's not the right brush. Where's my favorite brush? There's my favorite brush. Okay, now we've got enough gray already, so we're just going to come in here with the, the white. And I believe we need to come right up in here like this. And around like that. And then we're going to bring in some, some waves, so not waves, waves, but like, you know, the kind that would lap up against, a, lap up against the shore. Ron Yay, Rhonda. She said she sent it out to four people. Thank you, Rhonda. Wow. That's a record. Hi, Maritza. I think I've still got too much red in the picture here. I think this needs to go like that. There we go. All right. See, the inspiration when you were looking at it is actually like sitting on the bank. And, and it's beat up and old and stuff, yeah. yeah. And this and one I'm, you have sitting in the water. I've got it it's in the water. It's a little bit different. Well, it's only run up a ground on the front. But it's a lot different than what I'm painting. Right. It's just your inspiration. Inspiration. You're my inspiration. It was the clouds that kind of got to me. The cloudy, foggy look. The fact that there was no horizon. And the way they made the boat fade into the, the, um, into the water. Hi, bear hug. So, I'm kind of trying to fix this a little bit. Yeah, that helps a little. Hmm. When you love somebody to the end of time. Okay. Hmm. I am definitely no good at that, but I'm having fun. 
So let's give it a, we're going to give it a little um, mast here. Somebody got to get that song out of my head. Rhonda said she shared it out to five people. You're so sweet, Rhonda. You're so sweet. You know, those, those people could end up sharing it out, too. It's very important to do sharing. I'm glad it's something you want to share, and you wouldn't be embarrassed. <laughs> Hi, Bedazzle. You wouldn't be embarrassed and say, oh, my goodness. Yeah, I am. <sighs> Take a little bit of black, get some shading right in here. Oh, I'm in the way again. I'm in the way of my own painting. Rhonda said, great job, Donnie. This is a, a, a new painting for Donnie. He's never done uh, this particular kind nope. of scene before. Never done anything like this before. And of course, I wish I'd have just stuck with the dock. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to venture out a little. I know, but I didn't. <laughs> Hey, how about if I, uh, how about if I put, uh, an oar? Yeah. Oh, that was very good. Then I'll put another one right there. Going off the other side. Excellent. All right. I was thinking, oops, that's wrong. Okay. I should have fixed the um, side of the boat first. I was kind of wanting to put a little bit more white right here. Give it a little bit more. I should have done that before I put that ore in there. Or not. Or so. More fish. And we'll dirty it up a little bit. And we'll run that up there a little bit. You know, I think about people that are having to submit to somebody else and do somebody else's will just to make a living and to do their job and all that. And they 
never really get a chance to explore their own talents or desires. And I feel sorry for them that, you know, Bear Hug said it's a beautiful painting. Move your head. Oh. It makes the painting go out of focus. When your head is out there like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm looking for that lucky combination of stroke and color that gives me the depth that I'm looking for. You know, I need to come up here and do that. And I need to come down the gunnel A really bright really bright <laughs> space man uh, oh what did he say this time uh, I stood on my head and did a head spin and still can't figure it out <laughs> Baseman's happy because they have a lot more UFO sightings now. He knew it all along. And when he disappears, we know they took him first. When you're on a when you're on a vertical live stream and you want to get to a horizontal live stream, you what you do is you go over to the um, the channel and you just click on the uh, horizontal live stream from there. Because we do, um, we've been testing out, YouTube suggested that we test out a vertical live stream as well. But most of our viewers like the horizontal because they watch on TV. So we've been doing a little of both at the same time. So you can just go over to Donnie's channel if you see a vertical and just see if there's a, 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 a horizontal there. Because if you prefer that, then you can watch that and stuff. Same thing with my channel. Um, we're trying to, um, you know, do the thing that YouTube is suggesting to us, but we don't want to leave our, our horizontal TV viewers left out. So we've been trying it a couple ways. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So we're still trying to figure out how to do this. I'm trying to make a shadow, but it's not looking like a shadow. <laughs> Cher said, oh, I made it. Yeah, she was over. She was over there. <laughs> Spaceman made it, too. Yeah, we're testing out a new thing that YouTube is um, suggesting. Oh, now I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I thought you were just doing a time lapse. You're doing it. No, we'll do the time lapse from that app. Mm hmm. Yep. Let's 
quickly. Ooh, that came out much better. Ooh. I like that one. Mm. So if we put a little bit of highlight, put a little highlight right on our, on our um, sail here to help show it against the sky. There it is. And then we put a little bit of a mast right here at the bottom. Well, I don't know, yeah. Okay. That's good. That looks like a beat up old stale sail, doesn't it? All right. Hmm. I'm kind of trying to put a bench, a little bench in here inside the boat. Right there and right there by the oars. It's good. And maybe a, a little box or bench right there in the front. All right. Good, and as you can see, I did succeed with the shadow a little bit there, so I'm real happy with that. And this shadow is good, and this dock is good. If anything, maybe this dock could be a little bit more beat up. Maybe we should just kind of take another board out right there and... That board's already gone. Let's take another board out right here. Rana said she sent it out to her aunt and another friend also. Thank oh, you, Rhonda. Thank you, Rhonda. She's really been sharing Donnie out tonight. Yeah, appreciate that. It's hard for me to, you know, we don't advertise or anything. A little darker, a little darker. Yep, that's it right there. Then a touch of brown. Touch of brown. And then back to the gray. Touch of gray. There, we got a good Good broken dock right there. Nice broken dock. The vertical, um, live stream and the vertical what do you call it shorts videos are YouTube's um, way of 
doing what TikTok does for people and you know so the Congress already voted they're trying to ban <laughs> trying to ban that other platform you know so Space fan said that Wisconsin might have a, um, a partial solar eclipse on April the 8th going you know, well, yeah. Just not, not the whole full thing. Only the partial. full one is what they're talking about. Yeah. Did you know that that, that that X marks the spot is also over Rapture, Indiana? Isn't that freaky? That, because I personally have seen in calendars that this is a big year, that this is a possible year of the Rapture. You know, you can't tell the day or the hour, but that doesn't mean you can't tell the year. You're not allowed, I mean, it says in the Bible you can know the season. And boy, if there was a season that we could know, my goodness, I think we could know this season. Yeah, I don't think this is the year, but, you, I mean, only God knows. Only God knows. Not even Jesus, because he knows when the last soul is in. Only the Father knows. Only actually. the Father knows. That's what the Bible says. Only Father Only God knows. Father Not knows. even Jesus. Jesus. Not even Jesus. And the Holy Spirit don't know, because the Father God, the Bible says, is the one that says, it's it. Well, That's he's it. the one that blows the trumpet. Yep. He's the one that blows the trumpet. Says, "That's how you know it's different from the end times because the end times, that's the feast of trumpets. Many trumpets blow, but the rapture of the church, there's only one trumpet, and that's the trump of God." So what I did was I built a I built a um, a canvas in the water. And after I built the canvas in the water, I thought, that doesn't look good. But then as soon as I put a wave across, and I put a little bit of distortion in the painting right there, then all of a sudden it made all kinds of sense. Look at that. You can see, you can see the shadow right in the water. Is that cool or what? Man, that's cool. Bear hug said, Donnie, this painting is so beautiful. One of my favorites so far. Mm-hmm. Ah, wow. Look at that. Whew. Boy, I don't know if I can do anything else or not. I, maybe I just ought to leave this thing alone. I keep wanting to make that boat look a little bit more realistic, though. It's not quite satisfying me as far as my brain's going, oh yeah, that's a boat. Oh yeah, I got that. I can see that. And uh, boats have made boats are made of wood, you know, boats have little slats in them. And uh And I'd like to put to... Erhard said it looks real, like we could just get inside. Mm-hmm. And it's sitting still. It doesn't have a bow wake or anything. You know, you can't... You just kind of have to put little, little things on here like that to make it look like water. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Whew. It's kind of contrasty, too. It's not really sharp lines, you know. It's got a little bit of that 
whatever you call that word is, for being artistic. When actually it means I'm just not that talented. But I will call it artistic. <laughs> wow. Spaceman said Illinois will, from what he's read, will experience a lot of the eclipse in the southern part of the state. Mm hmm. Yep, I heard that. Is Chicago in the southern part of the state? Or? Nope, very northern. Right up on the lakes. God was got nothing. <sighs> I think I want a little bit less red right there. And a little less red right there. Okay, that helped a little. Bear hug said, you are extremely talented. Donnie, I wish I had it. Can't wait for my bear hug, and I'm waiting for my bear hug, too. She said she wished she had a, a, a fraction, at least a fraction of your talent. <laughs> well, you've got and the same said, fraction that I started with. You just have to multiply it. And he's a chef, and he's a baker. And a painter, and a chef, and a baker, and a front door, and a door doctor. I fix doors. A front door rescuer. A front door rescuer. I'm doing one right now, too. Donnie, Mrs. Spaceman said she likes that painting. Oh, thank you. Yep. I think I want to... This is just too strong over here. I want to think I'm going to put some whitewash on that. On what? On the bush, the bush right here. It's like not quite. It's a little bit too strong. It needs a little something. It needs a little something. Even if it's just some, just some water and some white, maybe. And we'll rub it in. Let's we'll see what happens. Just kind of. You're putting a lot on there. Probably no, it it, um, it dries out. Most of that will disappear. Most of that will disappear. Bear hug said she thinks it looks beautiful the way. <laughs> yep. Yep. He's trying to lighten it a little bit because his painting is in the fog. Yeah, hazy. You've yeah. got hazy, hazy sky, hazy, hazy, and then, and then all of a sudden you've got this bush. You know, it's like this whole area really isn't, you know, what I want it to be. But it is what it is. If you did a light, a very light, because you're putting too much white on there, but if you put it just a little light, it can make it a little hazier, you know what I mean? Like a fog, is in mm -hmm. there. like a watery white is what I mean. Very watery white. Yeah, and what you see the, you put it on a little, you, you take like one drop of white and 10 drops of water. Bear Hug said, oh, it looks wonderful. Great eye, Donnie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're working on it. There we go. Finish that tree off. Mm -hmm. When you love somebody. You know what's nice is when you fall even more in love with someone 
that you've been around your whole life. And they do something that just makes you glow and say, oh, I just love you even more now. And honestly, that's what God is all about. God is all about how much he loves us, how much he wants to dwell in us and share his power, his love, his life with us and, um, and, and be a part of him. You know, I, I do a teaching on how much we look like our parents. Well, that's exactly what God thinks. You know, he wants us to look like him. We're his, we're, I'm, you know, he's my dad. He's my dad. <sighs> See, that looks a little bit whitewashed now. So that looks a little better. And, uh, I don't think we can do much else. I think we're going to wrap this up before I do something silly. I did one painting one time and didn't like the sky. And I couldn't get the new sky to join with the old earth. It was not a good thing. Here, that helped a little bit. I've got a lot of paint left on my board. Spaceman said, the eclipse is a neat experience. There's a certain uh, phenomenon that happens under trees during the eclipse. Well, this eclipse is supposed to be like ones from hundreds of years ago with other earthquakes and signs. And they said the last time it came through, it went through like how many count, how many cities called Salem? And, uh, this time it's going through other cities in a place called Rapture, Indiana. If that doesn't tell you something, I don't know what will. <laughs> that tells me something. It's not, you know, that tells me something. Jack of all trades, Ron was saying. Yep. I even can sing bluegrass. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, hmm Way old Kentucky, where he place makes up his own songs. where I belong. Okay, the place where he wanted to go. I wonder. Let's see. Eric said, have you, um, have you all heard of the song by Alan Jackson, Jackson, um, When God Paints? When God Paints? I don't think we've heard that song. Hmm. I like it. We'll have to go find it and play it and listen to it. This color's no good. All right. Well, I have signed it. I am done. For those of you that hung out all this time, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Bear Hope said that song made her think of you, Donnie. Oh, wow. I've had a couple of people give me some really good compliments this week that just kind of shocked me, you know, I, I really didn't grow up with anybody giving me any compliments at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was not well complimented as a child. He felt deprived. And so, I've been a... Pre I've been his cheerleader, but... You have been, yeah. But also, the, the words of affirmation thing goes both ways, because I can be like... And he's the same way, he's words of affirmation too, because we can... 
Mm -hmm. Some of the words of affirmation, they can, say, they can say things, but then they can also give you constructive criticism, too, which you don't always want to hear. <laughs> Space Man said, y'all have a blessed night. Okay, you get Thank ready you. to say, sign off. You done? Or? Yep, I'm all done. I have done, did it. Signed it, sealed it, delivered it. I'm just kind of playing a little bit while I'm wanting to see if there's anything else I could do that would help it. Thank you. So, thank you. For joining us. For joining us. Now remember, we love you, but Jesus can love you even more. And so, good night, good night, good night. We love you, love you, love you.